Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking wavy line effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine, 30 FPS at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. And I'm just gonna call that the render comp. So I'm just gonna press okay. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create another new composition. I'm just gonna call this one lines. And this is where we're gonna start working now. So the first thing that we need to do here is I'm just gonna press this button over here to uh, click that title action saves just so I can see the middle of this uh, composition. I'm gonna go to the ellipse tool over here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold command and shift and I'm just gonna draw a ellipse or a circle just like that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that it's uh, aligned. So I've just hit the align tools, um, align horizontally and align vertically. If you don't see that, you can always go to window um, align. And then once you have that, the next thing that you need to do is you need to add an effect called radio waves. So I'm gonna search for this effect called radio waves. I'm just gonna change the render quality. I'm gonna bring that down to about two. And then what we can do is we can start to play around with some of these settings over here. So I've just you know moved forward in time to see what it actually looks like. I am gonna drop the expansion. So maybe I'm going to just bring it, maybe something like that to half of what it was. Um, I am gonna go to color hunt. And this is the color scheme that I'm using. So I'm gonna choose this color over here. Maybe I'll choose this one. And I'm just gonna go into the color settings and uh, change that. And so now we have our radio waves going. I can actually take off the title action save. And that's looking pretty cool, but now we need to distort it a little bit. So you can play around with some of these settings. Like for example, if the lifespan is uh, you know not to your liking, you can change that in there, or you can change the velocity, uh, the frequency as well. But I'm gonna leave uh, a lot of that and I'm gonna work on turbulent displays, which is the next um, effect. So you can see what's happening here. Already that looks pretty cool, what we have there. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change a few things in here. So I'm just gonna change the size bump that up to about 250. I then am going to animate the offset. So I'm gonna bring the offset down to about zero. I'm gonna hit that stopwatch. Then I'm gonna to move to the end of the composition and I'm just gonna bring that up to about 3000. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will see the animation starts. It starts to get a little bit wobbly and then it goes to the end and keeps on wobbling and all that kind of cool stuff. So I think that looks pretty cool, but now we're gonna make it look even better. So if you don't want it to be this big, you can always drop it down, you know, maybe even bring it to like, let's say one and a half. And now you've got it inside that composition. So totally up to you. So the final effect in here, we are going to add some echo. Now with the echo, echo can be pretty taxing on your computer. So make sure that you change uh, this resolution. Um, the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to change the echo time to negative uh, 100, all right? And then we are going to increase the number of echoes. So probably put in something like maybe 20 echoes. Maybe that's a bit too much. And now once we've done the number of echoes, what you can do is you can go to the K and then put that to 0 0.7 or even like 0 0.75 something like that. And now we've got this cool kind of warped shape that wiggles around and does all this cool stuff. So that's pretty cool. The other thing that we can add in here is if we go to the echo operator and we go composite in front, that will just make it uh, a little bit more of a shading at the back. And then, you know what, we can even increase the decay to 0.8 if you like. But you can play around with your settings. So that's it for this uh, composition. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the render comp and I'm just gonna drag the lines uh, in there. And so if we play that, that's what it looks like. And what we need to do, the first thing here is we need to create a background. So I'm just gonna create a new solid, call it BG. 
then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to search for the effect called gradient ramp. And inside the gradient ramp, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my colors from color hunt. So I'm just gonna get this darker color. I'm gonna swap that with the white. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and make it a radial uh, ramp. I'm gonna hit that uh, point, put it in the middle and I'm gonna hit that other point and put it somewhere over there. And if you go to swap colors, now you've got this cool kind of vignette happening there on the background. And I think that looks pretty cool. But now we have to add some colors to the actual lines that we have. So to do that, what we can do is we can go and write four color gradient and we can put that in. And already that looks pretty cool, but we are going to stick to the colors from Color Hunt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click all of these and then just import them into there. Cool, so now we have all those colors in there and I think that's looking pretty cool. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add some glow in here. So I'm gonna search for the effect called glow and I'm gonna change a few settings over here. I'm gonna change the uh, threshold. Maybe, um, actually maybe we'll keep it at 60%, but I am gonna change the radius. I'm gonna bring that up to about say 500 and the glow intensity, I'm just gonna drop it down to about 0.9. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate that effect. So I'm gonna press Command D to duplicate. And I'm gonna do a similar thing, but I'm gonna bring down this uh, threshold to about, let's say 50%. And you know, you can play around with the glow radius. If you don't want it to be as bright, you can, you know, bring it down to 0.5. And you can also play around with the radius over here as well. So maybe I'll drop that down a bit. Maybe let's say like 200, something like that. So I think that looks pretty cool how it is. Um, I'm just gonna bring the resolution down a little bit. And then what we can do is, so that's pretty much the, the effect. Now it does look a little bit different to what I have uh, at the beginning, but I was in 4K and uh, you know, little things are different in different compositions. But overall, I think it looks pretty cool. And now we just need to dress it up. So the final things that we can do here is we can add an adjustment layer. And inside the adjustment layer, we can search for an effect called curves. And I'm just gonna bring this down a bit and then bring this up a bit. So now we've got this cool kind of, it makes it even brighter. And I think that looks pretty cool. So the final effect that we can add on here is noise. So we can add another new adjustment layer and search for the effect called uh, noise. And if we just put noise on, maybe at around about 10%, right, you can kind of see what's actually happening. I think it just kind of ties everything else together. Cool, so now once you added your noise, that's pretty much the tutorial done, but you know, it never kind of stops there. If you go back into your line setting, and if you wanna change anything, you know, for example, the expansion, you wanna, you know, maybe bring it down, you can see how it affects uh, the final render composition. So another cool thing that you can add over here is you can animate the evolution. So if I hold option and hit that stopwatch, and if I write time times, let's say 100, all right, so now if I go back to my render settings, now you will see that it's got a evolution animation on there and it just makes it a little bit more wiggly and warpy. So you can play around with some of those settings um, as well. So totally up to you. So anyways, that's it for this short tutorial on animating uh, wiggly lines uh, using Turbulent Displace in After Effects. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.